What happens when you apply an AC voltage to a capacitor of capacitance C? Let's find out. I have a figure here. So the applied voltage is V0 sin omega t. This is a sinusoidally varying voltage. So when you apply this to a capacitor, we need to find out the current. Okay. So obviously, since the voltage is varying with respect to time, the current also must vary with respect to time. Now, what is the relation between voltage and current in case of a capacitor? There is no such relation directly. Okay. What we have in case of a capacitor is the charge stored in a capacitor is Cv, where V is the potential difference across the capacitor. Here, we have applied this time varying voltage directly to the capacitor. That means the charge across the capacitor is equal to C into V of T. Since the voltage is varying with respect to time, the charge is also varying with respect to time. Now, if the charge is varying with respect to time, then we can find the current in a capacitor by differentiating the charge. So I of T is nothing but D by DT of Q of T. So since the capacitance is a constant, this is C into D by DT of V of T. So if you differentiate this V0 sin omega T, what we get is C into D by or sorry, C into D uh, V0. The derivative of sin omega T is cos omega T into omega. So this becomes V0 by 1 by C omega cos omega T. This V0 by 1, 1 by C omega is called I0. So that means I0, I of T is equal to I0 cos omega T. Now, if you want to compare these two functions uh, uh, by their phase, we have to make this to the same function. So in case of voltage, we have a sine function. In case of current, we have a cos function. Now, for cos omega t can be written as sine pi by 2 plus theta or sine pi by 2 plus omega t. Now, if you convert that I0 cos omega t to sine, then it becomes I0 omega t plus pi by 2. What does that tell you? That tells you the the phase difference between the phase difference look at the phase look at the phase look at the phase of the voltage and current the phase of the voltage is omega t but the phase of the current is omega t plus pi by 2 that means you can say the current in capacitor leading the voltage across the capacitor by pi by 2 and the peak value of the current is i0 is equal to v0 by the capacitive reactance xc where xc is nothing but 1 by C omega. Okay, that's what happens when you apply an AC voltage to a capacitor. Okay, to get more videos like this, download the DOPA app and subscribe to DOPA capsules. Hi all, you are watching a DOPA capsule class now. To know more about DOPA and DOPA capsule, download DOPA app and contact us using this number.